Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of quartic equation, we'll be solving x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 6 equal to 3x square. You can see this is quartic equation, degree 4, right hand side is degree 2. So ultimately equation is quartic degree 4. While solving this problem, we'll use algebraic identities, manipulations, we'll use quadratic equation, quadratic formula, will conclude real and complex solutions. So let's get started. I will consider x plus 1 term with x plus 6, x plus 2, x plus 3 equal to 3x square. Let me expand x square. 6x plus x, 7x plus 6. One thing is very very interesting which is coming out. 3x plus 2x, 5x plus 6 equal to 3x square. Now you can see we cannot substitute here x square plus something x equal to t because it is not forming. Whether you are considering first and last bracket altogether, second and third, or you are taking otherwise brackets also. The combination of other brackets, you won't get that substitution. So what we can substitute here, that is, I will consider, let me show you. I am going to write first parenthesis as x square plus 6 plus 7x. No problem. x square plus 6 plus 5x. This is how we can consider because the leading coefficient term and the constant term is same in both the parentheses. So we can consider that substitution in this question equal to 3x square. Okay, now I will take the product, multiply both the equations. So I can write x square plus 6 whole square. This term and this term. Okay. Now if I will multiply with x terms, so I will get 5x into x square plus 6 plus 7x into x square plus 6. So let me write directly 5x plus 7x into x square plus 6. And what about 7x times 5x? So 35x square. Okay, this is our LHS. And right hand side is 3x square. Now 5x plus 7x is 12x. So I will write this equation as x square plus 6 whole square plus 12x x square plus 6. And if I will take 3x square to the left, then it will give us plus 32x square equal to 0. Now it is very, very clear. If I will substitute, if I will put x square plus 6 is equal to t, this term equal to t, then equation will be t square plus 12x, consider as a constant, times t plus 32x square equal to 0. So our substitution is, let me write here, x square plus 6 is equal to t. Okay, this is one quadratic equation in variable t. This is one quadratic equation in variable t. So, I am going to apply the quartic, quadratic formula, not quartic. Okay, so a is 1, let me write here. a is equal to 1, b is equal to 12x, c is equal to 32x square. So t will come out minus b. So minus 12x plus minus b square. So 144x square. 12x whole square is 144x square minus 4ac. So if you will take multiplication, so 128. So minus 128x square over 2a. 2a, a is 1. 
so no need to write a here okay now it will give us minus 12x plus minus 14 plus 2 16x square over 2 minus 12x plus minus 4x over 2 let me divide by 2 first so it will give us minus 6x plus minus 2x if i will consider plus sign then i will get minus 6x plus 2x so minus 4x and if i will consider minus sign then i i will get minus 8x this result is now very very useful for solving quadratic equations now now our substitution t was x square plus 6 if you remember you can check it x square plus 6 so there are two equations x square plus 6 t equal to minus 4x equal to negative 4x and second equation x square plus 6 equal to negative 8x so there are two equations one is x square plus 4x plus 6 equal to 0 and second equation is x square plus 8x plus 6 equal to 0 now we will be solving these two quadratic equations we will have our four roots so let me write x square plus 4x plus 6 equal to 0 and here i will write x square plus 8x plus 6 is equal to 0 okay let me solve directly now x is equal to minus b so minus 4 plus minus square root b square so 16 minus 24 4 ac so minus 24 over 2a so 2 so minus 4 plus minus i will get minus 8 so let me write i times minus means i square so it will come out as i 8 i can write 4 times 2 so 2 root 2 over 2 so ultimately what i am having minus 2 plus minus i root 2 here we are having two complex solution of the given quadratic equation now come to this second quadratic equation i will find out using quadratic formula minus b so minus 8 plus minus under the root b square so 64 minus 4 ac 4 times 6 24 over 2a so 2 minus 8 plus minus 64 minus 24 40 so i can write 40 4 times 10 so 2 root 10 over 2 so x will be equal to minus 4 plus minus root 10 okay minus 4 plus minus root 10 so there are four roots of the given quadratic equation and see this trick is actually not trick we can substitute anything as per our equation and once it is getting once it is taking us in this manner then that would be useful i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe till next video bye bye